Hey guys, it is Michelle and I am, hold on, let's get in the frame. Are we in frame? Yeah. I'm very excited about this video. Um, as you guys know, I haven't really done a toy video in quite some time. Just because things have been crazy. It's not that I don't, I'm an avid toy collector still. It's just like, um, number one, where to put items is a big thing. And number two... I'm looking for specific pieces for my collection. You know, like every collector of oddities or things does. I got one. It came in the mail today and I had to open it because I was just so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway, uh, I got one in the mail today and I absolutely adore him. Now, backstory. You guys know that a lot of the things that I collect are things that I loved as a child that my parents had thrown away. I think every adult has that story. I loved my G.I. This one particular G.I. Joe doll, however, my parents threw it out when I was at college and they kind of spend the rest of their days looking for it. I know my parents themselves have toys that they reminisce about that are almost impossible to find. You would have thought that maybe, hmm, we should act Michelle before we throw her stuff out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's a whole other story within itself. Anyway, so that I think, even though I've always, even before that happened, I was always a toy collector. Barbies and I'm a collector of things in general. I collect a lot of things as you guys know. I have collections of all kinds of crazy stuff. Anyway, so this particular collection, they're kind of hard to find. Um, at least in my experience, they're hard to find. I'm slowly getting them as I find them, especially find them for a decent price and find them in decent condition. Anyway, I have one, my first one, that I got as a child. There was, I had two. There's two different ones. The other one she had thrown away, unfortunately. And I, that one is very hard to find. I have no luck um, replacing him yet. So, I will do a collection video of these guys if you comment down below if you want to see the rest of them. Uh, but the other day I found one of them. Now these are the Kenner Yum Yums, if you haven't figured that out from the title. These are the Ken Kenner Yum Yums, and these uh, came out in like the late 80s, early 90s. Let me see. Yeah, 89. And uh, what they were are just these stuffed animals. Now I know there was a cartoon based on them. I think they were more popular in Japan than they were here. But there was a cartoon on them. I know you, there was like stationery stuff. I think you can still actually get stationery and stuff about them over in Japan. But at the time, um, the big thing that we had here were these plush little dolls. And they actually, I know you can't feel it, but up in here you'll, there's this round disc. And they were scented. Now, they actually do still smell. The one that I had when I was a child, he still has a scent. Uh, I purchased another one after that. His scent is gone. This one has a very faint scent. Now, as you can tell, he's a cute little bear. This is Chocolate Chip Bear. He's in absolutely near-perfect condition. He's actually in better condition than the two I have. And he's absolutely adorable. As you can see, he's got cute little chocolate chips all over him. And the chocolate chips have glitter on them as well. Can you see that? He's got his little bow that says Yum Yums on it. His nose is glittery, and he's just absolutely gorgeous. Even his fur, it's very faint. It's actually only on his face, believe it or not. It's just his face that has, like, an iridescence to the fabric. Oh, yeah, you can see. See that? And he's got his little tongue hanging out, which all the Yum Yums did. He still has a very faint chocolate scent. I couldn't believe, because I have seen, there's a white version, it's sugar cookie. And he's fairly easily, fairly easy to get your hands on. Um, it's just, the white one gets dirty easy. It's hard to find a nice clean one. But this little guy, I have only seen a few times, and they're normally quite pricey. I got him for a really good price. Awesome, awesome seller. I was so excited. Uh, really fast shipping. But he's going to be in my collection, and I'm still looking for certain ones. Now, there was two particular series. He was part of the, um, I don't want to say the normal series, but he was part of the original line. There was also a, another line that came out from Hallmark. 
it was called like um, Picnic Paradise or something like that, where it was the same characters but in a different color variation. Those ones are very difficult to find. I don't know if they were all Hallmark um, exclusive, but one of the ones that I have, well, the two that I had growing up were both from that collection. Didn't realize it as a child. I just loved them because they were adorable. They smelt amazing. And I swear, all stuffed animals in the 90s were these weird neon colored animals. Even though, like, the puppy surprises have just re been reintroduced. Um, but they were always these weird neon colors. But I freaking loved it as a kid. I just, like, all of my toys were not normal animals. Like, a normal bear? Please. Anyway, uh, so I loved them because they had this scent to them and I still like remember like hanging on to them like they were my security blanket so to speak and like the smell brings back good memories as a child because like, my one still has an, um, a scent. The, they both did actually, the ones that I had as a child and I would just like grab them because the smell thing, it's a round disc thing. It, what it feels like to me is a smaller version and this is going to sound really gross. Uh, those, you know those round, like, deodorizers that people put on their toilet, like they slap it on the side of the toilet to, you know, those, like, scent thing? I don't even know. I know what I'm talking about, and this sounds absolutely disgusting, but it's a round thing with a, a back that you can peel off and you stick it somewhere, but you don't want it to stink. Normally you see them in bathrooms. Uh, that, that's what this feels like. It's a little round thing and it has scent to it. And like I said, these came out in 89. So these guys, you know, they're like 26, 27 years old now. And they still have a scent, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. But, oh, I love them and I love the glitter. It had everything I love. It smelled good, it had glitter, and it's absolutely adorable. See, I guess I kind of like... Because we had, I actually have a Care Bear sitting over there in the corner, a vintage Care Bear, because I think they were the best ones. As you know, I'm not a big fan of the new Strawberry Shortcake when she came out. I love the original, the cute little dresses and the cute little stories. I thought the toys were adorable. I don't like how they re, um, redid her. I'm not crazy also either about the new My Little Ponies, and I know they have this line where they're kind of like brat doll looking, they're like half human thing. I'm not a big fan of that either. Now, granted, the early, earliest My Little Ponies, okay, they looked kind of like Eeyore, but they looked more like a pony than what we have going on now, in my opinion. Same with uh, the little pet shops, the ones, I like the original ones from Kenner. You've seen my videos. Uh, the original Puppy My Pockets. Although, the new ones are still kind of cute. I'm more partial to the others. But the new ones, I'm not going to give them too much of a hard time about. They're not too bad, as far as that goes. And even the new um, puppy surprises aren't that bad. The babies could be a little bit better, in my opinion. But the actual big dolls themselves are pretty nice. But, you know me, um, I like the vintage ones. And I've seen that they've redone Rainbow Bright. Now, I do see Hallmark has some of the vintage style Rainbow Bright things out. And I absolutely adore that. However, I see that they've revamped Rainbow Bright as well. And I'm not liking the interpretation that I see here. But that's just my personal opinion. And now, guys, have you heard? They're coming out the troll movie. I'm so ecstatic. I hope it's good because I see that they're actually that Matt Cosmex is doing a troll makeup line. I am losing my mind. I'm like so excited and we're bouncing because that's how this camera is. Anyway guys, if you want to see the full collection of my Yum Yum dolls, like down below, comment, hey we want to see them. I am going to be doing more videos with toys. I'm slowly working on it because um, it's not something that I ever got out of, but it's just something that I kind of got away from a little bit on this channel. Um, I do so much on this channel that sometimes it's hard to do it all at once. You know, I mean, realistically, I would love to do, like, a toy video once a week, a haul video once a week. Sometimes that's just not the case. I do work many hours, and um, sometimes even filming something as simple as a five-minute outfit video uh, is, is a lot of time for me because of all the hours I work. But... You know, I've been working on getting it out. I try to do a video a day, or every other day is my goal. 
but sometimes it is hard. So anyway, guys, thank you for your patience and your support. And um, I will see you in the next video. Like I said, comment down below what other videos you want to see. Um, if you want to see the t more toys or more outfits, stuff like that. Or in particularly in my collection of these guys, which will be expanding as I find the ones I don't have. Oh, they're so cute. How can you say no to that adorable little Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.